One day, out of the blue, uh, an Uber XL driver noticed that his next request for passenger pickup was something called Uber Comfort. Um, it was something he had never heard of, heard of before or seen, but essentially he was giving an Uber XL ride at a reduced rate. So why? Uber Comfort allows passengers to request a ride with a little more room, and it's a cross between Uber X and Uber XL. So for example, if a passenger has a long trip and they don't want to be crammed into a smaller Uber X car, they can request an Uber Comfort and have a little bit more uh, leg room. They, they get the XL experience without the XL price. Now what about rates? Let's take a look at those. We took a look at three cities, San Francisco, Phoenix, and Washington DC. Uh, we compared the prices across the board for Uber X, Uber Comfort, and Uber XL. So you can see that in San Francisco and DC, for Uber X, the booking fee increased by about 50%. In Phoenix, it was 30%. Uh, in San Francisco and DC for XL, the booking fee increased by about 35%. In Phoenix, about 20%. Um, back to Uber X in San Fran and, and DC, the per minute increased by about 40%. Per mile, right around 35%. In Phoenix, right around 20% increases in both per minute and per mile for Uber X. And for Uber XL, uh, about a 30% increase in per minute in San Francisco and DC, and about a 30% decrease in per mile in, in San Fran and Phoenix, and about a 45% decrease in per mile in uh, DC. So again, Uber is getting more in booking fees for comfort over Uber X and, and Uber XL. And we couldn't get an official list of cities from Uber for the beta, but some of the cities we were able to confirm are uh, Atlanta, Chicago, New Jersey, Omaha, Phoenix, Portland, Salt Lake City, San Francisco, and Washington DC and the beta has been available for about a month now. So this is great for passengers who would previously request an Uber XL for this purpose. But what about drivers? Um, XL drivers that currently give XL rides to one passenger can probably kiss those rides goodbye. Um, and also Uber, Uber Comfort will, will probably eat into a lot of Uber Select business as well. And as far as the rollout of the beta, uh, we heard from some drivers in Phoenix that when it was rolled out, it was unexpected and poorly communicated. Um, some drivers that would previously had filtered out Uber X requests and only um, accepted Uber XL or higher requests were getting these comfort requests. And again, these comfort rides are at a lower rate than Excel rides. So a driver actually contacted Uber support and asked them if he could filter these comfort rides out. They told him that they couldn't, they couldn't do anything about it because it was in beta testing and that he should go to his green light hub and contact them and see what they can do. And at the hub, he was told that the beta was not attached to his car, it was attached to him and that they couldn't turn it off. All they could do was put him on an opt-out list. Again, this was really poor planning by Uber and poor execution. Um, Uber XL drivers that chose to accept Uber X requests should have been the only ones to accept to, to get these comfort requests. XL drivers that had filtered out those lower requests, those Uber X requests, should have been allowed to filter out the Uber comfort requests as well. So again, this is great for passengers, but does come at a cost for drivers. And the longer you drive for Uber, the more you get used to this type of stuff happening. But what are some positives that drivers may see? Um, XL drivers that previously filtered out X requests could opt into these comfort requests if they feel the rates are high enough and in turn this will keep them busier. They'll get more requests probably, but it will probably take away from previous XL requests. Like they'll be at a lower rate obviously because they drivers, XL drivers may have been previously getting XL requests from one or two passengers for more legroom, but now they're gonna be giving comfort rides at a reduced rate. So there's a positive because there might be more rides, but there's gonna be a reduce in rate. And a possible upside to a lot of these comfort rides is a lot of them might be longer rides, one to two passengers looking for more legroom. Also, as far as vehicles that will qualify, um, some current Uber X vehicles will probably qualify for Uber Comfort. We reached out to Uber to get an official list, but they, were, they weren't able to provide one. Some vehicles that I was able to find out that qualify were a 2018 Honda Accord, a 2018 Tesla Model 3, and a 2019 Toyota Camry. But it would be nice if Uber actually put out an official list. All right, so there it is. Um, overall, again, this beta was poorly planned and poorly executed. But like I said before, for drivers that have been around long enough, this is par for the course. We're used to this type of stuff happening from both Uber and Lyft. But for those of you that have given these comfort rides, uh, what do you think of the option? Um, XL drivers, is it keeping you busier? Is it taking away a decent amount from your business? Um, what about cities? We, we listed some cities that we were able to find out. Are, are there more cities that this is available in? What about X, X cars? Are there more X cars that, that we missed? Um, leave a comment below and let us know. Uh, thanks again for watching. Please like, comment, or subscribe and drive safe. Thanks.